Hey guys, we're here at Coolan at our manufacturing facilities in Melbourne. We wanted to share with you a new technology we are working on. It's going to help us disinfect our workstations, keep us safe and keep our business running. UVC lighting has been used for decades in heavily controlled commercial environments like hospitals for effective sterilization. Most of us are familiar with UVA lighting, which is what's used in nightclubs for example, and is relatively harmless but will do nothing to kill bacteria. However, the UV that's used for sterilization is UVC. The problem is that in the same way that UVC kills bacteria, it can damage the cells on human skin and any exposure to it should be considered harmful. So naturally we got some, like this one, to see if it would work for us. Unfortunately, we've come to realize that most of these products are impractical to use in commercial applications and lack basic safety features. For example, if you had one room in your house that you wanted to disinfect and you wanted to make sure that the kids weren't there, you got everybody out, you turned the light on and you ran outside, uh, this would probably do the job. However, in a commercial application, that just doesn't make sense because you need about 20 of these and you need to set them up all around the production facility. You need to make sure nobody was here at the time and somehow manage to simultaneously turn them all on and off at once. Basically, the difficulty makes it impractical and it won't get done. The perfect solution would be a smart lighting system that would network together to be centrally controlled and turn on and off if they detect any motion anywhere in the building and obviously turn on when it's safe to do so to maximize sterilization time. Now we've realized that most of the functionality that we needed for this we already had in the product that we've created before. This is Xenix. Xenix is a network construction light that helps track occupancy of the building. It features a network of smart motion sensors, there are microwave motion sensors that are very sensitive to motion and detect motion in a very wide aperture. All we had to do is alter the logic of the way this product behaves, add some UV lamps and create smart disinfectant lamps. And we did exactly that. So the nodes report back on the motion and as you can see on the screen, there is no motion in this building between about 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock at night. So this is probably the best time to set up the trigger for the lights to turn on. As a secondary precaution measure, we can leverage the sound readings. And if there's any sound readings that are coming over 40 decibels, if somebody yells or claps, this will also abort the disinfection cycle. The system consists of multiple nodes. Each one is connected into the mesh through the gateway and the gateway is connected to the cloud. We control the system through the cloud where we can set up different schedules. We can set up all the parameters of each cycle independently. Each one of the nodes is connected to its own UV lamp, so we're controlling each UV lamp individually in each area. But any of the motion sensors being triggered in the building, for example, if we were to run the cycle between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m., if anybody moves in any part of the building, the whole process will be interrupted and stopped. In this demonstration, we can see the puck running. On the lamp on the left is a red lamp that's assisting because UV light is invisible. So we've put additional red lamps so you can see the red light means the entrance zone do not enter. The lamp on the right is the UV lamp. And the puck itself has a red uh, beacon indicating that two dangers do not come in. If we get one of our colleagues to come in, the puck will pick up on the motion and turn the cycle off. We believe that this is the only way to disinfect large commercial areas safely and efficiently. So, this is how we are innovating to fight COVID-19 at Kulin. What is your company doing? Share with us on the hashtag OCInnovation. And remember, we are all in this together, so let's work together and beat this thing.